Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about that things with you, how can edit and also how can update your product. So we successfully did that work with the images. So now I want to do if you want to delete that product, that means this one actually our product list. If you want to delete that product, then how can do that work in this video? I will show you that things with a live example. For doing this, first of all, here I define one of the action in our index page. So we have to put one of the URL in our that button, that means the delete button. So we're going to go to our product index. So that is our product index page. And here I have defined that delete. So for the delete, it should be just like that same. Okay. So here I want to do, I want to define one of the URL. So I just simply define that URL. And then I just simply define that E2. I just want to create one of the URL for the delete as a delete. So I just simply define the delete and delete I define as a product. I just define one of the URL as a delete product. And also we have to delete it with a specific one of the ID, right? We just some define the same things for our edit. So here I want to defining it. So I want to um, delete it with a specific one of the ID. That means our delete product and then our you want to delete it with a specific ID. So here one things like when you want to delete it, okay, like when you want to delete it better, I want to define some of the pop up on particular that position. First of all, it should be display some of the notification as a you want to delete it or not. So here I want to define one of the condition. You can use it one of the sweet alert, but right now I want to um, use it with the one of the action script. That means one of the JavaScript. So here after that, okay. So after that, I want to do, I want to define one of the on click. So I just define the on click function and here I into the on click, I just define as return, return and the confirm. I just define as return confirm into the return confirm. I want to show some of the message. So here I want to define some of the message as a, are you sure? This type of one of the message, it should be display. Okay, and after that, when you click on the OK, then it should be um, deleted. So here I define that our URL and the on click function for the delete. So now we have to do, we have to create this URL. So that means the delete URL with also one of the ID. So now go to our web route. And here I want to do, I want to copy it. And I just simply, it should be as a get method. And our URL I just define. I just define this URL as a delete product with the ID. So now I just simply define as a delete product with a specific one of the ID. So now in our product controller, I want to create one of the method as a delect. So I just simply define the method as a delect. Now we have to create this method in our product controller. So now go to our product controller and after that, so that is our update method. And after that here, I want to defining it as a public and then function and our method name as a delete method. I just simply define that delete method. So friend, I think you already know about it here. We have to delete it with a specific one of the ID, right? Cause here I define one of the ID. So we have to define that ID. So that is actually the ID. I just simply defining it. So I just take that ID. So I just simply define that ID. Perfect. So here one things. Like here, if you delete it, like here, if you delete it, um, it should be deleted from our database. But in our folder, that means I have already uploaded some of the images in our particular data area, right? So I, when this data will be deleted, I want to do, I want to also delete that images from our folder area. So here I want to do that work for doing this. First of all, I have to do, I have to get our specific fast data. I show you, like I just take one of the variable as a data. And now I just simply define our DB and table because in our database table that have our this data, right? So I just simply define our table name. So from which table I want to get, like from I want to get our this products table. So I just simply copy it because this data is saved in our database. So I want to get our specific fast data. So here I put that condition as a where. I define that where condition in our products table that have one of the field as ID, it should be match with our requested ID. So when it should be match, okay, that means when it should be match, then I want to do, I want to get our first of all, our fast data, that means the one data. So I just simply define our fast data, okay? So here I just simply get our fast data and into this fast data they have our images field, right? So for the reasons here, I want to take our image. I just take one of the variable as image 
and now I just simply define our field names with this data so with this data I just simply define our field name right so our field for the images I have defining in particular that position as a logo right so I just simply define that our field name as a logo and now I want to do I want to unlink that image that means in our this field area I have already one of the image and I take the things with this variable right so now I want to simply unlink it so I just simply define as the unlink unlink our that image so I just simply drag that our specific this field data we take the things with this variable and now I just simply unlink that data so here I just simply define that part perfect and now I want to do I want to delete that product so I take one of the another variable I take one of the variable as a product okay I take one of the variable and now in our DB our table from which table I want to delete it all the data I want to delete our and this data from our products table so I just simply copy it in our products table when it should be matched with our ID so I just simply define that again condition okay I just simply define that when our product ID will be matched with our requested ID so that requested ID okay so that means this product ID as I told you before in our products table they have the field as ID so when our this specific ID will be matched with our requested ID so which ID I just passed that things from here when it should be matched then I want to do I want to define our delect method as a delect okay I just simply define our delect method and also here I want to do when it should be delect then it should be redacted to our in product index page with the images so I just simply copy it with the actually the message so I just simply defining it so when it should be delayed then it should be returned or redacted to our route that means our product index page with some of the success message as a product deleted successfully okay so I just simply define as a product deleted successfully so this message will be visible in our route that means in our product index page I have already defined that part like here you can see there is actually the message so it should be display that message and also I unlink our previous one that means the existing our this logo field one of the image so it should be deleted okay so now let's check this out if you click on the save all and now if you go here click on the refresh like right now I want to remove that product okay and also they have some of the image and if you go to our folder into the folder they have the image right so I want to remove it so if you click on the delete you can see that is our on mouse is not perfectly working on here and also they have some of the message as a, are you sure if you click on the cancel it should be okay and now if you click on the okay yes now you can see it's not perfectly gone from here and also it's now showing as a message as a product deleted successfully and if you go to our database if you now click the browse you can see it's not perfectly gone from here and also now if you check our folder yes you can see now this image is also gone from to this position so for the reasons here I define that unlink image so our specific this field they have some of the images it's now unlink first and then I just simply delete all the data so now for the reasons you can see it's now perfectly also gone from to this area so friend we successfully did that work we successfully remove our delete product that means the delete option so now we can delete it from to this area so you know next video i want to discuss about that show page so if you want to display your all that um, product details in your show page then how can create it i think you already know about it so how can do that work so how can do that work in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video